YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy MBM, and I am him. I'm back again with another one, and today, this is a dub one, man. I got a studio rack preset for you. Plus, we're talking about the Kaz Rock Avalon VT747 jet plane. Man, I'm not gonna be breaking it down in the details. I know there's a lot of YouTube tutorials on that, and you guys, you know, be able to hear what it sounds like on rap vocals, on, on rap vocals now, because I really ain't heard it on, 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 on rap vocals. The music, but it's cool. But that's what y'all gonna be hearing from me today. Plus, I'm giving you guys a studio rack preset. It's on a house, super dope preset, and it's super easy to uh, use. All you gotta do is just load it up in Studio Rack. For those who have Studio Rack, you pretty much know how to do it already. Yo, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Do me a favor because it does help with the algorithm. If you do subscribe, you do click that bell notification, and, 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 and you leave a comment. Look out for your boy, man. Subscribe to the channel. Let's tap into the tutorial. Let me show you how the studio rack work. All love. Let's get it. All right, man. So you got studio rack, man. So basically, all you're going to do is go right here to the down arrow. Boom. From there, you're going to load your preset. So wherever your preset is, um, wherever your preset is, basically, and this is called, it's a vibe vocal. I don't know why I said Casamigos. Casamigos is the one that's going to be the stock the stock uh presets that i'm giving you guys this one called it's a vibe so basically it's a vibe meaning it's a vibe so yeah man um wherever you got it downloaded that all you're going to do is just open it load it up and then boom it's going to come straight in here man and the super dope part about it is you got the comp you got the rc so let's play it without it real quick man and then we'll go into the details and you know the tips and stuff like that this cop got me feeling like I'm Migos. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those. But before we dive into it, remember, I always tell you guys, man, it is it, it, it is a must that you record your vocals at negative 12. Um, this has always worked for me, and, I, and it'll definitely work for you. Make sure you're recording a good, clean, quality vocal. Even if, you, if you're on Studio One Six, you can actually add the SSL channel uh to uh your mic right here and it'll record it in with a clean signal so that way you don't pick up any background noise any acs and stuff like that kids or anything cats dogs barking or whatever so yeah you can load it up right there and just get a good clean vocal going in make sure it's negative 12 make sure your beat is around negative 12 13 as well and then um the good part about it is if you don't have a uh true peak plug in Studio One provides you with it with the limiter, so you can you can you can actually use that, so you don't have to worry about peaking. So let's hear it before. This cop got me feeling like I'm Migos. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat, but you can have a back as well. Keep those fucking with the girl. Keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face, she got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. All right, so now I'ma play it with it. And the good thing about this, like I said, you can always dial it down. That's the good part about when I use uh, presets and stuff like that. It's just about blending. And I showed you how to blend. So I'll show you again. So this is with it on. This casa got me feeling like I'm Migos. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those. Fucking with the girl. Keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face. She got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. I got. I got. I got. So what I would do is. Let's uh, turn this to mono. Like I said, if you got a plugin that actually have a mono button where you can click on it, use it. So we're going to click this to mono. And then what I like to do is when I'm in mono, I like to blend my vocals with the beat to get that nice blend. This casa got me feeling like I'm Migos. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those. Fucking with the girl. Keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face. She got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. I got an intersection screaming out new nigga. Me a night with me will have your nigga feeling like your enemy. Marshy be the name nigga. It's embedded in the brain nigga. Now she not fucking with the same nigga. If it makes sense then I'll change nigga. So that's the dope part about it. And then you got the macro knobs to where you can use the macro knobs. So if it's too much gate. You can actually turn the actual gate plug in down a little bit. And, um, you know, so I turned the comp off of this. We actually just using the gate. But if it's too much, you can dial the gate down by using this macro knob. And then from there, we go. I got the REQ, uh, the REQ EQ on here. But I didn't use a macro knob for this because I feel like 
these are the areas that we target the most when it comes to taking out bad frequencies and stuff like that for the verse. So just uh okay, I was making sure my camera wasn't running hot. Just make sure that um you know you don't have to touch this. Um but like I said, most of the times uh females I would just dial this back, you know, probably to seventy or eighty at the most because you don't really have like a bassy tone in that area. So um yeah and then the other macro knob is for the cla 76 so if you feel like it's too much compression you can always dial it back you can always you know dial it back or you can bring it up if it's not enough so and uh the output i usually keep the output right here because it's a sweet spot for recording the negative 12. like basically man i i break my uh presets down to where it actually works you know what i'm saying so if you if you ain't get it from if you ain't get it from nbm Man, it ain't gonna sound right. It ain't gonna sound right. <laughs> nah. But uh yeah, so the CLA seventy six, so like I said, you can dial that back and forth if you need to. Check it out. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well, keep those. Fucking with the gerb, keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face, you got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. I got an intersection screaming out new nigga me a night with me will have your nigga feeling like your enemy. Marshy be the name nigga, it's embedded in the brain nigga. Now she not fucking with the same nigga. If it makes sense then I'll change nigga. Other than that I'm still the same nigga. White tee fitted hat and M chain nigga. Okay so we got the CLA 76 going. And then like I said you can add it you know what I mean. And if you need to you can adjust the output just a little bit just to mess around. But I normally use the input to bring it up or bring it down. And then after that, like I said, I like to uh, subtract. I don't like to add, you know what I mean? So that's why I record at negative 12. So that way I can add my plugins and I can add things to it. So if I need to add more uh, compression, I can add more compression. It won't, it, and it won't distort my vocals because all I got to do is subtract from there. I hope I'm not losing y'all. So then from there, we got the uh, audio track, which is going to be the low frequency side to where we're going to use that as a boost to give you a little bit of EQ to give you a little more clarity in the vocals clarity in the vocals so from there you can use this you know if, you know if need be if you feel like depending on what type of mic you have you may have like a, a mic that doesn't has like a uh, that doesn't have a nice uh nice boost in the uh low low frequency part of the uh, verse so you might want to bring it up but if it's too much then you can always bring it down like i said man the, you know that's what these macro knobs is for you can use these to bring it up and bring it down so you can use that there I think I had it on 3.4, I'm not sure. And then the next one we have is sibilance, which is pretty much like a de-esser. So, you know, like I said, if it's too much de-essing, you can, you can bring it down. If it's, if it's not enough, you can always bring it up. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well, keep those. Fucking with the gerb, keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face, she got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. I got an intersection screaming out, new nigga, me a night with me will have your nigga feeling like your enemy. Marshy be the name, nigga. It's embedded in the brain, nigga. Now she not fucking with the same, nigga. If it makes sense, then I'll change, nigga. Other than that, I'm still the same, nigga. So I like mine to hit, you know, around here a little bit. I don't like to take it up any further than that because I don't want to start losing clarity in my vocals and then um from there we got the reverb so with the reverb I did use the uh CLA epic which I love this plugin um they got the new spring verb which I'll be using that in um later in later uh presets and stuff like that so with this one like I said uh, you got the macro knobs to control it which the only knobs that you're gonna the only knobs you're gonna be controlling which for the reverb will be will be you know the uh for the reverb it'll be the mix so if you don't have enough you can actually boost a little more so check it out this casa got me feeling like i'm me goes bet you catch me in your section with your free coat but you can have a back as well keep those fucking with the gerb keep your free close before i snatch her up in my pea coat pretty in the face she got them vibes too so just really you know listen because you can you can really hit a reverb when you have on headphones so i don't know if you got a well-treated room to wear you know your room is treated enough to hear the reverb through your big speakers so if you can't get it through the big speakers definitely put it through your um your headphones and you'll be good to go and um same thing with the delay so you have a delay here a quarter delay but if you need to change it you can always just go into the delay and change it from a uh you can go from a quarter or whatever to whatever you want to put it on okay so now as far as the delay go 
you got the delay. Now, I with, with the Epic, I always boost it to 10 because that's where I get the cleanest delay. So you can you can you can shift it there as well. Check it out. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those fucking with the girl. Keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. You see what I'm saying? So it's nice and subtle. It it blends well with the mix. So, you know, you can turn it up to 10, but if you need to dial it back a little bit, you can. But I, I tend to find that when you dial it back a little bit, you don't really, really, really hear that delay as, you know, as soft and nice as, as you want to hear it. So with that, and then you have the limiter. So now here's where the mixing come in at. So let's just say, for instance, we're using the input from here and we're boosting the input. This is where we pick up with the limiter to bring it down. So we're going to be subtracting from the limiter. I mean, from the compressor to the limiter. Just a little trick that I picked up for myself that uh, works really well. So, like I said, loading this preset up, it'll just be good to go for you. And then, man, now let's dip into the Avalon, man. So once I'm done, I'll, I'll probably add it here. And then I'll give you a before and after of it, man, which is super dope with this plug-in. So let's change the color on that. Pow! Now, the dope part about this, man, is they have presets already loaded for you to where you can go. Man, I see a few cats in here that I, you know, that I uh, you know, do tutorials, which is pretty dope. Man, congratulations on making it on the Avalon. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but I'm going to use the Avalon. And then, you know, you can actually use the stereo bus for mix down, man, which is dope. So I'll play it uh, with it off and then I'll turn it on. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those. Fucking with the girl. Keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face, she got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. I got an intersection screaming out, new nigga, me. A night with me will have your nigga feeling like your enemy. Marshy be the name, nigga. It's embedded in the brain, nigga. Now she not fucking with the same, nigga. If it makes sense, then I'll change, nigga. Other than that, I'm still the same, nigga. White teeth, fitted hat, and M chain, nigga. The crazy part about this plug-in, man, the the, mag the, ma the magic happens from these shelves right here, man. Like, I'm not going to even lie. Like, I really control these two more than anything. I may bring a little boost in the shelf here. And, man, you, man, like, this this is super dope, man. You know what I'm saying? You got the peak dips. You got the shelves. So, I really like to control these two right here once I'm doing something with the uh, Avalon. So, and me personally, I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, it doesn't. Um, I wouldn't say it sounds. I mean, man, like, it sounds, man. The, the sound of it is is definitely like like it's there you know what i'm saying and um to have it as a plug-in is super dope man like the threshold you got the side chain man the signal tube like come on man you can't get no better than that like i said it's other tutorials on here we people break this down for you but me i just wanted to show you like what you can use it for on your uh, master bus so basically i would throw this on here you know and then they got another dope preset which is the mastering preset like, man, that's super dope. You know what I'm saying? So I'll play it with it off and play it with it on. So I'm just giving you the off and on phase of this. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those. Fucking with the girl. Keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face. She got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. I got an intersection screaming out new nigga. Me a night with me will have your nigga feeling like your enemy. Marshy be the name nigga. It's embedded in the brain nigga. Now she not fucking with the same nigga. If it makes sense then I'll change nigga. Other than that I'm still the same nigga. White teeth fitted hat and M chain nigga. So this plug-in is definitely going to be in my arsenal. I'm going to definitely get some crazy work out of this, man. Like, you know, even like even when I'm getting ready to master my songs, I would definitely use this as like a master bus. So, you know, if I just want to use it for a master bus, man, that, that is the dope part about it. So, you know, we'll do all kind of resetting here. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those. Fucking with the girl. Keep your free close before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face. She got them vibes too. I got a smirk and them legs showing signs too. I got an intersection screaming out new nigga. Me a night with me will have your nigga feeling like your enemy. Marshy be the name nigga. It's embedded in the brain nigga. Now she not fucking with the same nigga. If it makes sense then I'll change nigga. Other than that I'm still the same nigga. White teeth fitted hat and M chain nigga. This casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those. Fucking with the girl. Keep your free club. So that just shows you the magic that this plug-in can do, man. So 
definitely, man, look at some other tutorials on how to use this thing and what to do, man. Like, I, I, I didn't feel like breaking all that down, man. I just wanted to show you that this plugin is going to be super dope in your arsenal. So, yeah, man, um, shout out to the uh, creators of this plugin. Man, big ups to them for doing this, man. Like, just to be able to have the, 7, the 747 as a plug-in on your desktop is crazy. So, yeah. Man, and, and that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, this is a preset I'm going to be giving you guys. Not with this, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, the uh, Studio Rack preset. So, the link will be in the description for you to download. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification. That'll keep you in tune with all the latest content I drop. Also, leave a comment below. Man, thank y'all for tuning in with your boy tapping in. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy MBM, the one, and I am him. Get up and get out and get some money, man. Handle your business. All right, I'm out.